Hello family, welcome to another beautiful edition of Annie Otter's channel. If today is your first day watching me, please hit the red button that says subscribe and you will be among the very first people that will be notified whenever I post something new. If you are a returning friend, subscriber, please thank you so much and do not forget to share, love and like my post, okay? So today's edition is a touchy one, it's a painful one. Uh, first of all, I want to use this opportunity to pass my heartfelt condolence to the family of Pastor Adeboye. That's the founder of Redeem Christian Church of God, okay? That's the RCCG. So as we have all heard or you just heard about the son that just passed on, that's the Pastor Dara. Uh, he resides in the Calabar area, uh, Ekit, to be more precise. So again, we all had through the social media that he passed into glory while he was sleeping. Okay, and looking at it, there are so many scenarios to this and there are so many things that could have been that could have happened while he was asleep or prior for him uh, going to bed. So as we have also heard from the social media, he preached the previous evening before going to bed, then he didn't wake up. So he died in his sleep. His wife recognized, realized that in the morning that the husband was no longer waking up. Upon trying to wake him up, that he, she wasn't successful. I want us to learn one or two things from this bad news that is circulating on the social media. All right, let's discuss, friends. And I can only think of a couple of things that can cause this kind of medical problems or that can cause sudden death in adults, okay? So my mind immediately jumped to cardiac arrest. This is very, very common. You can also call it sudden cardiac death. That means when the heart just stop working just like that, the heartbeat, everything will just boom. No warning signs, nothing. So this is caused by arrhythmias. That's abnormal heart readings. And this can also be related to sudden death syndrome, SDS. The structural problems in the heart and irregularities of the electrical channels of the heart can also cause a cardiac arrest. Most people don't even know that they have the syndrome until a cardiac arrest occurs. So the affected person may survive or die instantly so according to god's will for you or according to your destiny the person might survive or just die just on that attack only so it's very very common in young middle age adults this unexplained death is known as sudden adult death syndrome sads there are so many risk factors and I strongly believe that we can help to curtail these risk factors. Some of them we have no choice, it's just the way it is, okay? Number one is genetic. It can be passed down from your parents or from, you know, or family members, okay? Another thing is like being, just being a male person, a male child can also be a risk factor. Heart attack and cardiac arrest doesn't happen too often with women. Most of the time, men are the people that have heart attack. Women have a very low rate of having heart attack. Okay. So another factor is heart disease, epilepsy, arrhythmias, that's irregular heartbeat, medications. Okay. Medications such as antibiotic, decongestant, diuretics can also cause somebody to have cardiac arrest. And some of the symptoms mm -hmm. of sudden death syndrome, unfortunately, in most cases it's just sudden and unexplained with or without symptom it will just happen but the red flags that we should be looking at for chest pain loss of consciousness difficulty breathing dizziness heart palpitation heart fluttering fainting so when somebody starts feeling all these funny funny things please 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 what do you do See your doctor immediately. Go and visit your doctor immediately. If you can visit a specialist, which is called 
who is called or who studied about the heart, a cardiologist. This is the person you need to see. This person will do a total cardiac workup for you, total cardiac panel for you to find out what is going on. They can do EKG. They can do stress. Test. There are so many things they can do to figure out what is going on. Okay. Even echo, they can do all sorts of things to find out what is happening with you. Okay. And another thing you can do is to avoid taking medications that make your chest hot any medication that can cause you chest pain any medication that can cause you irregular heartbeats okay your heart will start doing boom 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 stop taking that medication if it was prescribed by the doctor please see that doctor immediately and let them know what that medication is doing to you probably they will change it right away okay and treat any fever immediately exercise with, with caution if you are exercising in any way and your chest start hurting please stop immediately and seek medical attention okay so practice good heart healthy diet okay Eat food that are good and healthy for your heart. To, I'm referring especially to women. If you know that your husband is the chubby type of a man, please be mindful of what you're cooking because you might be adding more danger to his health. Okay. And so what you eat and when you eat it and how much you eat matters a whole lot please my fellow women be mindful of what you cook in your house not only for your husband but for your children i see a lot of obese children walking all over these things that didn't happen overnight sometimes there are so many things we could have done to curtail this overweight and obesity going on in our families but we just ignorantly didn't do it or we are too busy to do it so we should be mindful of what we cook and serve in our family please focus on fruits vegetables whole grain legumes low fat dairy product poultry fish and nuts please focus on this so so much if you have to eat a bar gari fufu pandayan whatever it is Please eat it ahead of time, maybe around 6 p.m., 7 p.m. Don't start eating all those things by 9 p.m., 10 p.m. And you eat more than you should eat, like let's like say if you're eating for five people. These are some certain precautions we should take as individuals. We should be mindful. We should be mindful because this, this body we have have to be trained and maintained and well taken care of for it to last for us again. Okay? okay, so maintain regular checkup with your doctor that's very very important and limit beverages and foods with added sugar okay all those sweet 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 please be careful soda mineral all those things please be careful even alcoholic drinks please be careful if you have to drink red wine maybe half a, uh, maybe four ounces a week that should be good enough do not keep drinking and drinking that's not good for your health that's why you see a lot of people with pot belly walking all over and i'm not saying it's just alcohol that's overweight eating too much and eating at the wrong time and the wrong pot uh portion that's why we have these pot bellies and we need to exercise more often so let's be mindful and let's work on losing weight and maintaining adequate body size okay work on your belly work on your belly it's not good for your health it's not good for your heart either okay so another thing that can make somebody die in their sleep is what we call sleep apnea so this is a serious sleep disorder in which breathing repeatedly stops and start when somebody is sleeping so this is this mainly affects people with overweight and people with obesity okay in this case during sleep the throat and the tongue muscles relax causing the air causing the airway to become blocked okay that's called obstructive sleep apnea apnea so major signs and symptoms with somebody snoring so loud and somebody gasping for air when they are sleeping and another thing that can cause somebody to die in their sleep is what we call pulmonary embolism pe so this is a condition in which one or more arteries in the lungs become blocked by a blood clot risk factors are smoking overweight pregnancy long trip surgery heart disease and coronavirus okay so signs and symptoms include shortness of breath chest pain cough rapid or irregular heartbeat excessive sweating and lightheadedness please see your doctor immediately how do we prevent this take baby aspirin once a day 
check with your doctor before you start please before you start check with your doctor and wear compression stockings elevate your legs when possible whenever you're sitting down please elevate your legs physical activities exercise is very very important it doesn't have to be vigorous maybe 30 minutes to an hour a day just ordinary casual walking is good okay don't just keep sitting in one place for so long without activities and drink plenty of water plenty of fluid healthy fluids okay and do not sit in one place for a very long time by so doing so by so doing we will be saving life one after the other and we'll be taking care of our health our life and that of our family members okay so let's eat healthy exercise prevent what is preventable and leave the rest to god who is who is the ultimate decision maker again my heart goes out to the pastor to the family of pastor adeboye okay so my condolence goes to your family and my prayers are with your family my heart goes to this young lady that have just lost her husband and the two little girls i pray that his soul rest in perfect peace with the creator the almighty god good at him he knows the lord and we are sure of his destination thank you everyone for listening and pass on this great message bye guys please subscribe and share